Andrew Scott, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Yes, very excited to be here. Uh, first one here, Kane. Kane to see the film? Oh, very keen. Kane is mustard. Yeah, no, I'm very keen to see the film. I haven't seen it yet, uh, unlike some of the others. So, yeah, I'm, I'm as excited as, as anybody to see the movie. Uh, I imagine you are inundated with offers. Uh, what made you want to go for this one? Uh, well, this is my third venture with uh, Mr. Mendes. We worked together on Spectre and... Uh, uh, we did a play in New York before, so um, it was really Sam, but also this sort of incredibly innovative way of, of making the film. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's a, a very exciting evening. Uh, you, you mentioned the, the innovative filming techniques. How did that affect you as an actor? Was it tricky? Uh, yeah, it's pretty daunting. You know, you have to get it right. Usually you rely on pickups or, you know, editing to, um, if you make a mistake or, or whatever happens, on, like you usually do on, on filmmaking days, uh, you, you can rely on, on picking stuff up. But this, you have to have a perfect take right from start. So it's a little bit like live theatre, which a lot of the actors in the, in the movie are, are experienced with. So um, it was thrilling, absolutely thrilling. This young lady, Claire de Burke, is the only female in physical form that appears in the film. There's other women who are talked about. But your first film, I believe, Claire, is that right? Yes. <laughs> How does it feel to be here tonight at the world premiere and to show this film to the world? I'm really excited about um, to see the movie, but I'm, I'm, I have no words, you know? Yeah, I can imagine this is quite overwhelming for you as well, considering it's your first time. We should mention Florence as well, who's your wonderful translator. Yes, yes. <laughs> I like Florence. Yes. Thank you very much. And can I ask you, please, what your reaction was when you read the script? For the first time. Votre réaction quand vous avez lu le scénario. Um, ça a été comme un. It um, was a bit like. Um, quelque chose de très instinctif, uh, comme, comme quand uh, on. I felt my instinct was really uh, tout de suite. shooting up. I immediately understood. Amazing. Um, et, et puis c'est une situation surtout. The situation above all, uh, I felt immediately akin to it by the awesome Danny Mays, who's just like asked me if I want a song. I mean, feel free to. No, no, you're absolutely fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it if you do it. Not right now, no. Um, Sergeant Saunders. Uh, Indeed. How are you? How are you about this tonight? You've seen it already? Yes, I saw it at the cast and crew on Sunday, and I'm wow. genuinely so excited about seeing it again. I mean, it is an amazing piece of work, yeah, and just blessed and thrilled to be part of it, really. I got a little bit fangirled out with Roger Deakins there. That yes. was kind of like, oh, my word. I mean, you know, his track record speaks for itself. So to be uh, in a movie directed by Sam Mendes and to be shot by Roger Deakins is, uh, I can tick that <laughs> tick. box. Yep. But with regards to this... You know, there's this wonderful story with these two characters at the heart of it and the, the yeah. people that they experience along that journey, you of which are, are one of them. How much are you aware about all the other stuff that's kind of going on in terms of whilst it's being shot? Do you know the extent of what they're doing in terms of... Not, not really. I mean, I obviously read the script, but you can't... You can imagine that in your own head, but um, it was just thrilling to finally watch the end result. And then, I mean, I, I was obviously aware that Andrew Scott was in it and Mark Strong and Benedict and all these guys. So to see the, you know, the fully completed piece of work was amazing to see what their contribution was yeah. as well. But 
I mean, we're all there to support Dean and George, who give absolutely spellbinding it's performances. Amazing, isn't it? I think that's the thing that I took when I first watched it was obviously the technical achievement side of things is beyond impressive, the cinematography and all of the, the camera work, but without the human story and the mm -hmm. heart that those two deliver tenfold, it, it wouldn't be the film it is. It's my pleasure to welcome Jimmy Parker to our lovely Red Stage. How Hello. are you? I'm very well, thanks Lieutenant very much. Lieutenant Richards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you seen it yet? No, I haven't. I've oh, kind of, man. in a way, I've sort of deliberately kept it as a, have you? As a, as a for the full impact for tonight. I've seen about a sort of three minute section around about my, my, my bit is literally counting down to the biggest shot in the entire film. <laughs> so I was sort of there for some pretty exciting filming, but uh, you know, a tiny slice of the whole thing. But I, so I've seen that little bit, yeah. but I'm, I'm waiting to see the whole thing cut together. I can't wait. Can you describe the atmosphere on set? Because we were just talking to Michael there, he's talking about that kind of theatrical element to it. Do you know what? It was a really potent kind of combination. On the one hand, it was very easy and very relaxed, a sort of testament to. To, to Sam's quality that, yeah. that he can take on something this ambitious and intricate and just make it feel very, very easy. Mm. And because, you know, you're rubbing shoulders with people who either were very familiar because you'd grown up watching them or because you'd worked with them before. It felt, you know, yeah. it felt very easy and homey and like we were all singing from the same hymn sheet. But there was a real uncanniness and potency to it. I was, I had a, I was carrying a pistol that had actually gone through the Somme at uh, the wow. back of the song, I had field glasses and jodhpurs that that were from Whoa. from the time, you know. Um, so there was a, um, you know, and, and as much fun as it was to have 500 extras in the middle of Salisbury Plain and, and um, you know have explosions going off and everything. Yeah. And it is, it is great fun. You can't help feeling yeah. like a little boy making a war movie, <laughs> but it does come, you know, with a with a, a pretty sober yeah. sense of duty. To the whole thing, um, so I'm, I'm I can't Amazing. wait to see it. I'm so excited for you to see it. Thanks very much. Really lovely to meet you, Jamie. You Have too. a great night. Thank you so much, sir. Jamie Parker, everyone. I get to speak to the producers about how this whole thing's put together. Jane, for you, what is it like to be here tonight at the Royal Premiere with the Royals attending for this extraordinary film? Well, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's uh, literally a year ago that we began prepping this movie. It doesn't seem that, that long ago. Just in April, we started shooting, and here we are tonight. So it's absolutely incredible. We're so excited. We hope everybody loves it as much as we do. And uh, it's just a fantastic night. What was it about Sam's vision uh, when he first spoke to you about this idea and, and how he wanted to achieve it with you as well? What was your reaction to that? Well, I think the thing that really interests me was this very personal story set against this vast landscape and obviously a huge his historic event. Yeah. And, um, and of the intrigue of, of the one shot. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I had the same reaction as everyone else. <laughs> How are we going to do this? <laughs> but, um, you know, when you put together a fantastic team, it's yeah. uh, the challenge of making this movie happen and then seeing it realized is fantastic and very exciting. Can I just mention your extraordinary cast as well on, on yes. this, and in particular George and Dean, who yes. who really carry this film. So much is on their shoulders, and was that an easy process in terms of finding those two young actors who who could do that, who could achieve that, and bring such heart to these roles? Well, of course, it's a, a combination of an incredibly physical role um, as well, and yes, I mean, we I, I wouldn't say it was a. a a challenge in the sense of we didn't have a sense of who we wanted to play these roles. Yeah. We did. And um, of course, George and Dean both came through fantastically. I'm here now with Mark Strong. How are you, Mark? I'm very glad to be here, yeah. 
I, I can't help just eyeing up your tux. It's a lovely tux, Mark. Thanks very much. I thought I'd make an effort. You know, Prince Charles is coming tonight, so I thought I'd uh, turn on the charm. Does, does it make a difference to, to an actor? Think, okay, I'm at the premiere, and Prince Charles is coming. Uh, well, it's a royal premiere, isn't it? Which is a, a lovely thing, uh, and it's a, a film I think that he'll enjoy. And uh, I can totally see why it's a kind of, uh, you know, why they're here. Uh, make sure you collar him afterwards and check that he did enjoy it. Well, I'll, I'll just make sure. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Hutton. Correct. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you, yeah. Um, can you explain to everyone without giving anything away? Because it's kind of difficult when you try and remember where everyone's placed in this film, because it's extraordinary performances. But how does your character fit into the story? So my character appears um, later on in the film and has quite an intense moment with George Mackay, who's incredible in the film. And um, I'm barking lots of orders <laughs> at people and... <laughs> in a quite a tense moment, let's say. Yeah, one of the things that's extraordinary about this film, obviously, is, is the way that Sam wanted to execute the story, mm. but, but for you as actors and an ensemble, that involved a lot of rehearsal time, didn't it? Yeah, and it was, it was almost like, you know, Sam is a master of storytelling and being involved in his theatre background yeah. and things like that. It was kind of like being involved in a play in yeah. many ways, lots of rehearsal, and, and the camera was almost like a promenade audience yeah. member Amazing. if you like and you could hear the camera sort of coming in a weird kind of way from oh, hundreds wow. of yards away and then you knew your moment was about to happen it was it was a once in a lifetime thing to be a part of and and an incredible experience as an actor as well yeah i've just collared pippa harris one of the film's producers how are you pippa all right very well a bit chilly but basically well i mean come on it's december in england of course it's a bit chilly <laughs> <laughs> true true <laughs> Uh, how excited are you about the general public and the royals uh, getting to see the film this evening? Uh, very excited. I mean, we only finished uh, a couple of weeks ago, so to have gone from that to seeing it on the big screen in Leicester Square is amazing. I imagine you were getting quite tense towards the end, then. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were. We were, we were quite up against the deadline, but um, we, we knew we'd make it, so it's been exciting. Uh, and in terms of when Sam came to you and said, look, this is how I want to do this film, as a producer, you must have been like, oh, this is going to be hard. Slightly, yeah. It was particularly the idea of uh, the fact that we couldn't use any lighting, that we needed um, overcast weather the whole time, we couldn't shoot in bright sunshine. There were lots of parameters that Roger, our DP, laid down early on, which were going to make it tricky. So we used to get up every morning, look at the weather app and pray. What an absolute pleasure to introduce Roger Deakins and James. Thank you both for being here tonight. Can I just say congratulations? What a film you've made with Sam. It's extraordinary. Have you had a chance to take stock of this yet? or? Um, not really. We've not seen it with an audience yet, so that, that, it'll be really good tonight to see it with an audience. Yeah. Do you like that? Do you like that kind of physical reaction that you can well, get? I'm a bit nervous, but I <laughs> so like it is wrong, probably the wrong <laughs> phrase, but I, I'm interested, put it that way. The kind of prep and rehearsal was as important as the, the shooting for this project. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, Warsaw, I mean, the, the more so. Actually, the prep, we had a long prep time and we had a long rehearsal time and we actually started kind of shooting the rehearsals with a, roughly with a, with a small camera just so we could really get a sense of the final product that we wanted to achieve. And, and when we got to the shoot, actually, we came in under schedule and the shoot went really well. So wow. because we'd done so much prep, you know, it was great. Is that first? <laughs> Is that first? I worked with the Cohen brothers a number of times and sometimes they would come in under schedule. It was quite uncanny.